What is going on guys, it is Hoxton here, back with another video. Now today we're doing a video that's been highly requested. We're actually going to be looking at my setup and how exactly I stream uh, mobile games at a high quality, as well as some things that I've actually set up just to make the overall experience of streaming a lot easier. So starting off with just the desk, uh, the desk was actually hand built by my dad and I. Uh, currently has three legs, we still need to add a fourth leg on like the left side where it kind of sticks out. Currently we just have like a little stool and some books to keep it supported which is really kind of jerry rigged. Uh, but in the future we do plan on adding another leg. So for my setup when I actually do stream mobile games, here's like a visual representation of how I actually do it. So really simply, basically what happens is I have my phone and then whatever I see on my phone, uh, that goes through a little adapter. It's a lightning to HDMI adapter. Uh, then it goes through the HDMI cable and goes to my Elgato HD60. And from there it outputs to two different directions, both the video and audio. The first direction is the red cable. It goes down to a little adapter that I have that goes from HDMI to RCA. And RCA is just the red, white, and yellow like old output style that they used to use. Then I have another cable that plugs into the red and white feeds, uh, and that is a converter that goes from the red and white to a aux cord. And then I have that aux cord plugged into my uh, Astro mix amp. And basically what I use this for is hearing audio from my PC as well as my phone uh, so that I can combine like my uh, Discord audio. So if I'm at a call or if I'm getting like donations or listening to music, all that stuff that's coming from the computer will also go into the mix amp, which you can see from the, uh, the pink wire. And then also you're getting the audio from the game, which is the green wire. And then all that is outputted to the light blue uh, headset aux, which is just my HyperX clouds. And then basically I can just hear everything I need to hear from both my phone as well as my PC. And then another wire that I have is the one that goes from the HD60 down to the PC. That's just another a normal, I think, USB-C uh, wire. And basically that's just getting the video from the HD60, which is my phone video, uh, to the PC so I can actually stream it to you guys. But most of the complicated things here is the audio setup, just so I can actually listen to audio without any kind of delay. So here's how that actually looks. So the feed just goes through the adapter, through the HDMI, and then it goes to the Elgato, which is behind my screen right here. And then from there, it go through, goes through that little wire down to my PC underneath my desk. And then the audio setup is pretty complicated, but it does come out of the wire right here. Uh, but all that stuff is hidden behind my screen. So once again, here it is on the screen if you want to see it. But yeah, after going through all that complicated setup, it does plug into the Astro Mix Amp. Uh, and I'm getting audio from the phone there. And then this wire in the back is where I'm getting the, uh, the audio from the PC. And then it goes through this uh, wire down to my headset, which is actually the HyperX Cloud, I think, Cores, uh, which is right around about 60 bucks. This is actually a really good headset too. I definitely recommend it. And then right here is my little like charger station. I have some plugs and USB ports uh, so that I can plug in both my phone and my little laptop fan that I use for my phone to keep it cool. For the keyboard, I'm rocking a Corsair K63 mechanical keyboard. And from my mic, I have a typical Blue Yeti on a very cheap aluminum shock mount and also a cheap uh, like boom stand or whatever you call it, just an arm uh, that I actually got with another mic that I'll be showing you guys really soon. And this actually works pretty well, even though the arm is pretty cheap. For the mouse, I have a Razer Death Adder. I turned off the lights because the lights are green on it, uh, which doesn't match my setup at all, but still, it's a very good mouse. And my monitor is a Biotech 144Hz 1440p 27 inch monitor, which I actually got for a very good price for this kind of monitor. Now here's my main PC, which is my gaming PC. It has a i7-8700K at 3.5 GHz. I do want to overclock that in the future. Uh, the GPU or the graphics card is a 1080 Ti, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. I don't know exactly what brand uh, RAM or what speed, but it is 16 gigs. Uh, the motherboard is an MSI Z370A Pro SSD, 244 gigs. I don't know exactly what SSD it is though. Uh, and then hard drive, one terabyte and water cooling. Now my other PC is my stream PC, which I'm not currently using. I only use it to kind of watch the chat, uh, but I will be using it in the future when I get a new capture card. Uh, the specs on that, it's a Ryzen 5 1600X, a GTX 1050, which I, is definitely fine because I don't game on it. Uh, it has eight gigs of RAM. The MOBO or motherboard is a MSI B350, a 240 gigabyte M2 SSD and a two terabyte hard drive. And then I just have a stock fan that came with the, uh, the CPU. And then on the right side of my room, we have kind of my backup stuff and my really old setup that I had. Uh, we have an old gaming laptop that I got. I'll put the link down below if you guys do want to see exactly what the specs are on that. Uh, and then for my headset, just a, like a cheap JVC headset, which was like five or ten dollars at some like drugstore. I kind of forgot where I got them. Super cheap, but it did do the job back when I played PUBG a lot. Uh, the mouse is a Red Dragon. I forgot exactly what the DPI is on it. 
Um, I got that from a friend. He just gave it to me, so it's completely free. But I do think if you get the mouse on like Amazon, it's right around twelve dollars, and definitely a good mouse. I just prefer the Death Adder over that. Then for the other mic, we have a toner mic. Now I got this thing along with uh, some other attachments, like the uh, the mic arm that we saw on the Yeti. Got the whole kit for around thirty-five dollars. So if you're looking for a cheap setup, I definitely would recommend the toner uh, setup. I'll have a link down below. So for other knickknacks out of my room, I'm actually a huge uh, football and Seahawks fan because I do live in Washington. Uh, so I do have like a nice little Seahawks helmet that I've kind of pimped out with the visor and stuff. And then some mini helmets right above it. And then also you can see some cologne and just other stuff in my room. Uh, and then I have a poster that I designed a while ago and then a cross, a uh, ping pong table, and then my bed, and then a few other posters in my room. All basically Seahawks based. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I just want to say really quickly, if you guys are trying to get into mobile gaming, don't get the setup that I had unless you're like rich. Mainly, I was trying to describe this for the people that are like becoming YouTubers and they're starting to make some money or they're streamers and they're, try they're trying to like upgrade their setup uh, to the best it can be. Here's just a setup that basically is everything I'd ever need for mobile gaming. Obviously, I'd like to upgrade some things like uh, I want to fix the wires below my desk. I want to fix my desk, like get a new leg and maybe make the top just one massive mouse pad because so it'd be a little softer. Then I do want to upgrade my chair in the future because this chair is super cheap and kind of crappy uh but yeah so if you do want to look into other ways of streaming or making videos for mobile games i am going to have videos in the future about cheaper ways of doing it but yeah hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see videos in the future make sure to drop a sub below and if you did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like and thank you guys for watching peace